there, welcome to Fluency Girls. I'm Mandeep, and today's lesson is going to be a very interesting lesson, like my previous one, where we use the word go to bring out natural expressions that the native speakers use in their everyday conversations. Today, we are going to use the word catch that native speakers slip into their conversations every day to make so many different expressions that convey various meanings in various contexts. So get ready to catch on as we explore how a simple word can open up a whole new world of expressions. Number one, catch someone off guard. Catch someone off guard. This expression simply means to surprise someone unexpectedly. So you say something to elicit some response from someone and the other person is not at all expecting it from you, then you are catching them off guard. The sudden announcement caught everyone off guard. The next is catch a break catch a break so imagine you are in some tough or difficult situation and you do something that provides you some relief or some good luck that improves the situation you are catching a break there i have been so busy today that i would really like to catch a break here so that means you want to do something that gives you some relief catch someone's eye catch someone's eye when you catch someone's eye, that means you have captured their attention. You have caught their attention. That painting really caught my eye. Catch some Z's. Catch some Z's. To catch some Z's means to get some sleep, to get some rest. I am exhausted and I need to catch some Z's. Finally, the exams are over. I'm hoping to catch some Z's. The next is catch your breath. Catch your breath. So when you are doing some activity that strains you physically or some activity that causes a lot of stress on your body or on your mind and you are taking a pause, taking a moment to breathe or recover from that stress, whether it's physical or mental, then you are catching your breath. After running up the stairs, I really needed a moment to catch my breath. The next is very interesting one to catch wind of something to catch wind of something when you catch wind of something that means you have come to know about some plans that were not supposed to be disclosed so it can be hearing about that secret or a rumor i caught wind of new project happening next month so that means it was not disclosed yet what is the new project but you have already got to know about this secret from somewhere that what is this new project that is going to happen next month. Catch someone's drift. Catch someone's drift. So sometimes you know in conversations people do not directly say something but they are trying to imply something to say something indirectly. And when you understand what they are trying to imply or say, then you are catching their drift. I don't need to spell it out for you, right? You catch my drift? That means I'm asking you, do I need to tell this thing directly in detail to you? Are you able to understand what I'm trying to imply here? Catch hell. Catch hell. Just two words expression, catch hell. So when someone receives severe criticism or punishment due to something that they then they are catching hell due to that thing. I'll catch hell if I'm late to the meeting again. That means you were previously late for the meeting and this time if you're going to be late for the meeting, you are going to catch hell. Catch a glimpse of. Catch a glimpse of. Glimpse means a look. So when you catch something's glimpse that means you have managed to just take a momentary look at that thing so if you see someone or something for a very brief moment then you are catching glimpse of that thing i caught a glimpse of the celebrity as she left the event catch the bug catch the bug 
catching the bug here means when you suddenly become very interested in something and you become passionate about something you develop sudden interest in that thing then you are catching the bug of that thing it's like developing a sudden fad or a sudden interest after my first ski trip i caught the bug for skiing catch someone's fancy catch someone's fancy so if you suddenly become interested in someone and you are paying a lot of attention to them then that person has caught your fancy now this can be used in two terms like you catch the fancy of something or you catch the fancy of someone like a new restaurant that opened in town and that restaurant has captured your attention then you can say the restaurant really caught my fancy so this can be used for things that capture your interest or people that capture your interest so people catch your fancy or the things catch your fancy catch on catch on so this phrase is typically used when you are not able to understand something initially but later on you are able to understand it it took me a while but i finally caught on to the new software so that means initially you were unable to understand it but now you are getting the hang of it you are learning how to use it catch fire catch fire so now this this phrase has two meanings one is literal where something actually catches fire and it is burning but metaphorically this phrase can also mean that something has become very popular and successful suddenly like some songs that become sudden and instant hits so you can say the song caught fire and became an instant hit catch someone red handed catch someone red handed when you catch someone red handed that means you have caught them doing something wrong in the act while they were doing it the police caught the burglar red handed so that was all about today's lesson if you have liked this don't forget to hit that like button and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet i'll see you next week with another lesson till then happy learning